everybody. Frank back with you again for another flavor review, another flavor of the day. Today we have one that isn't very impressive in Loran's Butterscotch and one that's pretty darn good in Wonder Flavors Butterscotch Cream Pie. So let's go down. Let's take a look at these. Show you some examples on how the best ways to use them. See some flavor notes, and then you can get on with the rest of your day. Let's go, everybody. Alrighty, here we go. We have Loran's butterscotch. It may contain diacetyl, a flavor used to create a butter flavor. Source EC EC Forum has been reported to crack and melt plastic tanks, but may be fine to vape with glass or stainless steel. Uh, let's see. I was already looking a little bit here. It's one of these ones you can buy at Walmart. Uh, very alcoholic smelling, not very sweet. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're mix if they're using PG or if they're using alcohol on this flavor. Oh uh, yeah, a lot. Not the greatest butterscotch butterscotch flavor in the world. Like so many Loran concentrates, it leaves a little to be desired. Base flavor is not all bad, but it's not very well rounded uh lacking punch body you know it's yeah you know, this is a lot of what a lot of people are saying it's not that great of a flavor uh let's see common commonly mixed with vanilla custard vanilla swirl bavarian cream vanilla bean ice cream whipped cream see it's all tfa stuff brown sugar and then you got cap super sweet fa caramel ethyl maltol and tfa sweet cream 60 public recipes and only 591 private so it's not a very widely used widely used flavor most the highest rated one and only has two five star ratings is caramelized vanilla bean banana from g designs march of 2017 uses la banana cream at 1.5 flavor west butterscotch at one loran's butterscotch at one uh fa caramel at 0.7 Holy Vanilla from DIY Flavor Shack at three. As the V1, which you can't get anymore. Vanilla Bean Ice Cream at two. Vanilla Custard Flavor at four. And White Chocolate VG from Real Flavors at 1.5. Let's see, we have Butterscotch Cream from Robin, which is three and a half star average. Seven, been rated seven times. Uh, uses Loran's Butterscotch at 6%. Cap B1 at 12 and TFA whipped cream at 2. This mix is 6 years old, so it makes a little bit more sense. It was mixed at 60 40. Uh, some comments pretty darn good. Fresh mix, steeping for a few days before really vaping it through. Used, oh, this person they use Flavor West Butterscotch, so they didn't even use Loran's. But just the thing, if you're going to review a mix, use the flavors that it calls for. Uh, let's see, we have Carp Vapor, used it, uh, what's the date on it? April 5th, 2017, and used it on his channel. Uh, let's see, used it at 1.5, 1.25, used menthol with it, with meringue, spearmint, super sweet, and vanilla custard. For three years, it was his all-day vape. You know what? It got you off the cigarettes. It's keeping you off the cigarettes. If you like it, that is all that matters. It may not be something I care for, but if it works for you, it works for you. Keep doing it. Joshua Vapes with Rice Crunchies and Pralines. Uses it at two. Pralines and Cream at four. Rice Crunchies at three and Sweetener at a half. So pretty straightforward mix. Little illustration. Uh, let's see, someone using a strawberry cheesecake uses it 2.5 with LA cheesecake at 12 and TFA strawberry at 2. And this is number 2014. This is like back in on the early days of EOR. 50 uh, 50, 8 milligram of Nick in it. Look for a strawberry cheesecake that wasn't very fruity and a flavor that the cheesecake wasn't. All you taste the butterscotch isn't real noticeable but gives you a yummy twist hope you enjoy it well i hope you did enjoy it all right now let's go to butterscotch cream pie from wonder flavors it may contain dyke tones Ooh, scary 
let's see we have some notes here graded three days ten percent but preferred single flavor mix at nine here's another one one of my favorites so easy and so good shake and vape at 20 percent you can mix this and use it as one shot i mean it's not one of their super concentrates i do not nope it's not it's one of the older ones it's not super concentrated so you can use it high you can it has a lot of wiggle room uh here's what chachi had to say uh percentages and recipes 2.5 uh, single flavor at nine just got that from up top uh creamy soft cracked butterscotch very rich lots of butter silky butterscotch and cream i don't taste any pie crust but rather get a all delicious filling very sweet and decadent flavor no off notes if this is one that you can throw up there 10 15 even 20 percent if that's what you want you don't have i mean you might get some people do say they might get a little bit of a you know of a crust behind it and if it does it does if not you can always add it uh wonder flavors recommends using it six to nine percent uh you can pair it with vanilla custard cream biscuit nuts tobacco i could definitely see this going well with a nice tobacco maybe that new vanilla tobacco from flavor Ooh, getting, getting my wheels turning here we go you can use set in 703 recipes with Tahitian vanilla cream. Used it with caramel rice crispy treats. With super sweet with caramel butter, hazelnuts and cream butter pecan pie from Wonder Flavors cinnamon pastry. Of course, got dripple flavor West. Uh, I can see that for sure. Vanilla custard capella and banana puree, which is a, one of my favorite bananas. But that's another video at another time. 126 public recipes. It's being used a lot lately because there's a big contest going on. So you're going to see it used a lot of times. 1913 private. And number one is Frank Richer. If you know who he is, you know that if anybody knows Wonder Flavors, it's Frank. Uh, not this Frank, but that Frank. Butterscotch cream pie at 1.25, but or... Butter pecan pie 1.25 uses the butterscotch cream pie at just 0.5. Uses caramel rice crispy treats at 0.5. Hazelnuts and cream at 0.75. And Tahitian vanilla vanilla cream at 6.5%. Uh, Joe Van Cleef butterscotch ice cream with chocolate shavings. All wonder flavors. Uses the butterscotch cream pie 4.75. Chocolate chunks at 3. And Tahitian vanilla cream at 2.25 three weeks steep recommended mcmono rn mbs enlightened coffee which i make the reason why i even bought this flavor was to mix this mix it was done on mixing the kitchen back in early actually it wasn't even mixing the kitchen yet it was early 2018 we were messing around right before mixing the kitchen uh butterscotch cream pie at two and wear coffee at two fresh coconut perillum at one uh, roasted pecans and cream at 1.5, flavor sweetness 0.3, Vienna cream 1.5, suggested steep time is four days. Uh, me personally, Vienna cream needs to go longer, but I know people that can do that right off the bat. Uh, she's saying two weeks, it's a really solid butter pecan coffee type vape, which makes sense. Uh, let's see, here's a glazed banana from Frank. Uses banana puree at two, butterscotch cream pie at four, caramel butter at one. This is 2016. Uh, hazelnuts and cream at 0.15, and Tahitian vanilla cream at one. Yes, this that looks tasty as hell. Uh, let's see, he did sticky caramel cinnabon. Uses it at one, caramel butter at two, caramel rice crispy trees 1.5, cinnamon pastry at three. Tahitian vanilla cream at two. Another good looking mix there. Interesting seeing that, how that cinnamon cinnamon plays out. Here's one from TVC Elite. Everyone knows who that is. It's Brian from Fresh from the Kitchen back in the day. Uh, uses bread pudding from v Real Flavors VG at five. Butterscotch cream pie at two. Cake batter at 0.5. Caramel at 0.75. Cinnamon day swirl at three. Cotton candy flavor west at one. Cream cheese icing Loran at 1.3. Joy at a half. 
TFA marshmallow at one, flavor pound cake at one, little saline, shisha vanilla, super sweet, and sweet cream. Interest 19.3%. Just call it cinnamon sticky buns. Let's see that. Uh, February 8, 2020. This is when Tam got married. A day in her life which will live in infamy. Butterscotch, I mean butter pecan ice cream from 101 at 1.2. Butterscotch cream pie, 1.2. Flavor of caramel at a half. 101 cornbread, of course, at 1.5. Vanilla buttercream frosting from VTA at 0.9. And jungle flavors, yellow cake, 1.5. Nice medium cake, sweet with rich caramel and butterscotch. Yes, for sure. Four day steep. That looks like something I'd probably be able to knock out off the bat and just vape it. Uh, lemon beret with Addy, milled Nikon. Uses butterscotch cream pie at 2.5. Creme brulee at 1. Flavor Express lemon 0.75. Lemon squares at 1.5. And vanilla pudding at a half. Yeah, it does look good. And that's about all the, all the mixes we're going to talk about today on this one. Everybody, I'm going to say Butterscotch Cream Pie, one of my favorites. It was nice to see Frank Richard with some of them mixes up there. Some really good looking Wonder Flavors mixes there. Wonder Flavors is one of my favorites. Probably yours too. You can do a lot of great stuff. And this one is one of the older ones. This is not super concentrated, so you can go crazy with it. The Lorans, if you want to challenge, if you want to try to you know, polish a turd. There you go. Have at it. Alrighty, guys. Happy Thursday. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends what we got going on here. If you learned something, great. If you don't, that's great too. Uh, hopefully, I entertain you the best I can. I can. And you know what? Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. Happy mixing, everybody. A lot of new mixers out there. I hope you all are learning something and enjoying this newfound hobby you just picked up. Whether it was because you had to because you couldn't get your flavor, favorite flavors anymore or you just decided to do it on your own. Happy Thursday, everybody. See you tomorrow to wrap up the week. Bye.